Alright, it's time to get back to your favorite series nobody asked for. So, we already did Introduction to the A10. It was uh, really boring. So, we're going to go ahead and do Hodus Fundamentals, which I don't know if it'll apply to me or not, because I'm using mouse and keyboard and not a Hodus system or any of that. So, we'll see what happens, though. And on course, we manage the throttle to maintain airspeed above 200 knots. In this flight, we will overview the primary controls in the so, cockpit used to I don't know how to fly this and combat we're systems already of the in the ATC. Air. If you find it hard to hear my instructions, exit the mission and lower the world and in cockpit sound sliders to about 50%. You can pause the mission at any point by pressing the pause key on your keyboard. You can also set the mission to active pause mode by pressing left shift plus left wind plus pause keys. To exit the mission at any point, <laughs> press the escape key. You can use the numpad keys to pan the view around and press the numpad asterisk and numpad forward slash keys to zoom the view in There's and so out. so many fucking buttons. Press the spacebar key when you are ready to begin. Oh yeah, I was supposed to read like a manual or something. Uh, oh well. I mean, not oh well, but like... The A-10C utilizes hands-on throttle and stick. Hotas controls to allow the pilot to manipulate primary avionics controls without taking the hands off the stick and throttle. This saves time and eases the pilot's workload, but it also means the stick and throttle feature a lot of buttons that require practice to use effectively. In addition, the A-10C cockpit is designed to minimize the time the pilot spends head down to work the avionics. Many of the displays and avionics controls are presented on the upper part of the cockpit, where the pilot needs to only glance down to find the necessary control or display information. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. Yep, I'm ready. I'm listening. So, minimize Let's time, the but like there's all this... Available on the stick and throttle. Oh my god. Buttons and switches on the control stick include two-stage gun trigger, weapons release button, master mode control button, MMCB, target management switch, TMS, data management switch, DMS, countermeasure switch, CMS, nose wheel steering button, NWS, aircraft trim control hat. On the dual throttle, buttons and switches include mic switch, speed brake switch, boat switch, china hat switch, <laughs> pulley switch, slew control, autopilot button, Pinky switch. What's the coolie switch? While we will use some of these controls as part of this lesson, there will not be enough time to practice with all of them. You will need to reference the aircraft documentation for a complete diagram of the hotels. Dude, I don't well have any documentation for, this. for all what of do the you commands. Mean? Our goal today is to understand the fundamental concept of hotels control in the A10C, and not the many functions of all of the buttons and switches. Press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Well, I guess I'm ready. You never gave me the uh, instructions or any of that? The or, cockpit okay. includes three primary displays. The head-up display, HUD, on the top of the cockpit frame, and the left and right multifunction color displays, MFCDs, on the front panel. The MFCDs feature 20 option select buttons, OSB, around each display. Starting oh with God. OSB 1 in the upper left corner and moving around the display clockwise. The function of each OSB is identified on the screen and depends on the page being displayed. What do those mean, though? OSBs 11 through 15 at the bottom of each MFCD God. set the primary page of the display. Press the spacebar key to proceed when ready. Yep, I understand. I am a pilot, after all. Because the avionics package of the A10C is quite complex and features a number of different systems, it's impossible to include an individual hold task button on the stick and throttle to cover all the necessary control. This problem is overcome by designating a sensor of interest, SOI, which allows the pilot to set which sensor he wishes to command with the hold task. The SOI can be set between the HUD and either MFCD page by the pilot as necessary at any point using a coolie switch on the throttle. All hold task commands in the cockpit are provided a keyboard alternate. In the case of the coolie switch, these will be H for coolie left, K for coolie right, U for coolie up, and J for coolie down. Before trying to use these commands, it's also important to remember that some hold task commands, including the coolie switch, have a different function depending on whether they are pressed and released quickly, short press, or held down for a couple of seconds, long press. 
Press the space bar key to proceed when ready. I really feel like I should be writing this down since I don't have that, uh, like, plane manual he was talking about. But oh well. The right MFCD is currently displaying the targeting pod TGP page. The TGP is set to standby mode at mission start. To begin exploring HOTAS controls, let's first set the TGP to air to ground mode AG by pressing OSB2 on the right MFCD. Okay. Oh! We now have three primary That's sensors displaying information in the cockpit. The HUD, the tactical awareness what display how TAP this is. page on the left MFCD and the TGP page on the right MFCD. Notice that both MFCD pages include a not soy message overlaid on the screen. This means neither display is set as soy. The default setting at mission start is for the HUD to be soy. Press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Okay. When the HUD is soy, it is indicated by an asterisk key on the left side of the HUD. We'll now try some HOTAS commands with different sensors set as soy. First, God. while keeping the HUD set as soy, try moving the slew control on the throttle. Keyboard commands for slew control are semicolon for slew up, period for slew down, comma for slew left, and forward slash for slew right. As you move the slew control around, you will see the uh, target designator easy, cube TDC move on the HUD. Nothing will so, change on the MFCD pages. Move the TDC out of the way around the HUD, doing this. and then didn't press know I'd the space the whole bar key to proceed when ready. Oh, okay. I guess it's I guess it's this little thing right here. Uh, what do they want me to move it to? Is it doing anything else? Okay, I guess I'll just press space by it. I didn't know I'd need the whole keyboard for this. Now let's set the tad page of the left MFCD as our soy. Press and hold the coolie switch That's left command or the H key on the keyboard to perform a long press of the button. Uh, wait, press and hold, coolie switch, uh, H, so, H. Good. The not soy message has been removed from the left MFCD, oh, and the display is now inscribed by a green square to indicate that it is soy. At the same time, the soy asterisk has been removed from the HUD. Try again yep. to move the slew control around, and you'll see that you are now controlling the TAD cursor on the left MFCD instead of the HUD TDC. What? Move the TAD cursor around, and press the space bar key to proceed with money. Oh. Ooh. Fancy. Uh, I need to put it back then. No. That's close enough. Um, next. Now let's set the TTP on the right MFCD as our soy. To do this, press and hold the coolie switch right command or the K key on the keyboard to perform a long press of the button. When do I get to use the guns? Oh. Ooh. I got some mirrors in this bitch. Uh. Wait. Switch right, uh, hold K. Once again, move the switch right. I'm basically around. a fucking ATEM. This pilot, time, you will be controlling the TTP line of sight. You may notice the TGP diamond moving on the HUD in the TAD page, but this is only a helpful indication of where the TGP line of sight lies on the terrain. The sloop control is currently commanding the TGP and not the TAD or the HUD. Move the TGP line of sight around, press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Oh shit! Wow, that looks like a really, uh, what you call a really realistic display. Um, I've looked through a lot of thermal imaging cameras. It doesn't look like it's thermal. It looks like it's just uh, regular right now, but that looks pretty... I mean, I'd say it's similar. Yeah, that's about what you'd be able to see. I mean, obviously, the trees and stuff are different, but I mean, look, even the smoke. Uh, that's pretty cool. Neat space bar. As we said earlier, is... some HOTAS commands have a different function depending on whether a short or a long press Ooh. is performed. In the case of the coolie switch, as long left now. and right okay. commands set the MFCD pages as soy as we've seen. But short left and right commands can be used to cycle the MFCD pages. Try pressing the coolie switch right short command or K key on the keyboard a few times to cycle the right MFCD pages until you return to the TGP page. 
I really need to memorize all of these acronyms. Master Arm Safe, so I can't use the guns, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna assume that's Waypoint Fox One. Uh, I haven't put them in. I don't know what that means. Neither did I. Question mark. Uh, nope. Now try cycling the go. left MFCD pages by pressing the coolly switched left short command or the H key on the keyboard repeatedly until you return to the tad page. Whoa. Oh, weapons. Yeah. BDU 50. Uh, 65K. A lightning rocket. Ooh. The coolie switch down short about command planes, on the but keyboard I do know will swap the left and right in FCD pages. For the most part. Press the coolie switch down short command or the J key on the keyboard once to swap what? pages. Then once more to return them to their current state. Uh, coolie switch down. So between left and right is J. So the coolie switch down long command will perform a DSMS quick look function, allowing you to see the digital store's management system page to check the status of your weapon stations for as long as the switch is held down. Try performing a DSMS quick look by holding down the coolie switch down command or the J key on the keyboard for a few seconds. What is that? DSMS? Digital store's management? So I'm guessing that's my plane's loadout. Oh yeah, it's a load out of the plane, and I'm guessing... Finally, uh, the coolie switch up short command is used to set the HUD as soy. Yeah. There is no function for the coolie That's switch up long command. The set the HUD as soy by pressing the coolie switch well, up I mean, short command, a... or the U key on the keyboard. Wait, so you know, I was distracted by... It's pretty interesting. I, th I wonder how close to real life this is, so uh... Press U. Whereas the sloop control maintains a oh conceptually God, a consistent function regardless of what sensor is set as soy, some HOTAS commands perform different functions based on the particular soy. For example, the data management switch DMS on the control stick will have a variety of functions depending on the soy. When the HUD is soy, DEMAS up down short commands will cycle through the waypoints currently loaded by the navigation system. DEMAS left right short commands will cycle through the loaded weapon profiles. Try pressing the Demus up down short commands or the home and end keys on the keyboard to cycle through your waypoints. Then try pressing what? the Demus left right short commands or the delete and page down keys on the keyboard to cycle through your weapon profiles. Okay. You will see the data on the HUD change as you cycle waypoints and weapon profiles. Okay. Press the spacebar so. key to proceed after becoming familiar with the HUD soy DMS home short and command and functions. Keys. So, okay, yes, yeah, it's, it's changing. Looks like waypoints. Yeah, and I see that on the map too. Okay, so home and end, those are the waypoints. And then press uh, delete and page down. Delete and page down. I don't know what that's doing. Uh, looks like it's switching to my weapons. 50. No oh, Maverick. Stand by. Don't go. Let me shoot. Let me shoot a rocket. Let's now see what the Demus short commands do when the TAD is soy. First, change the soy from the HUD to the TAD by pressing the coolie switch left long command or holding down the H key on the keyboard. Okay. When the TAD is soy, the Demus up down short commands control the TAD map scale. The Demus right short command switches between centered and depressed map modes. The Demus left short command has no function. Press the Demus up, down, no right short commands or the home, in, and page down keys on the keyboard to try the Demus short functions with the TAD set as soy. Oh, Press I'm the never space be a bar key to proceed after becoming familiar with the TAD soy Demus short command functions. The camera broke. Uh, press up, didn't do anything. Oh, probably because I have to zoom in. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what? What is the point of that? Show me like, what's ahead. Well, we'll uh, do like that bad boy right there. Just 
Now let's set the TTP as soy and see what the DNS does. Press the coolie switch right long command or hold down the K key on the keyboard to set the TTP as soy. When the TGP is soy, the DEMUS up down short commands control the TGP zoom factor. The DEMUS right short command switches target designation modes between laser, IR pointer, and both. The DEMUS left short command engages the TGP autofocus function. If the TGP view is obstructed by the aircraft fuselage, you can slew the line of sight upward until it's once again ahead of the aircraft. Press the DEMUS up, down, left, right, short commands, or the home, in, delete, and page down keys on the keyboard to try the DEMUS short functions with the TGP set as SOY. Press the space bar key to proceed after becoming familiar with the TGP SOY DEMUS short command functions. How do I get this to look forward? It looks like it's flipping backwards. It's better than forwards. Yep, that's forwards. Uh, home and okay, home and delete page down. Oh, oh, it's laser. Gotcha. I don't know what. I don't know what they look like. Gotcha. Let's return the HUD as soy. Press the coolie switch up short command or the U key on the keyboard. The final concept we'll discuss today is the sensor point of interest or SPI. The SPI is the focal point of your combat sensors and is generally the point marking the location of the target, usually set on the ground. There can only be one SPI at a time. For example, before dropping a satellite guided JDAM bomb, you need to set the target's position as a SPI. The target's coordinates are then downloaded by the bomb's guidance system to allow it to find the target after release. Press the space bar key to proceed when ready. Uh, so I get to drop bombs. Then downloaded by the bomb gun system to allow it to find the target after release. Gotcha. The speed can only be set by soy. When the HUD is soy, the TDC sets the speed. When the TTP or Maverick missile is soy, the crosshair set the speed. When the TAD is soy, the speed can be set by the TAD cursor over any TAD icon, including data linked icons set from other friendly units. Regardless of what sensor is set as SOY, the speed is always set by the target management switch, TMS up long command, or holding down the left control and up arrow keys on the keyboard. God, just Press so the much. space bar key to proceed when ready. It's just so much. We'll now try setting a speed with the HUD set as soy by placing the TDC over a point on the ground. Slew the TDC into the highlighted box on the HUD and press the TMIS up long command or hold down the left control plus up arrow keys on the keyboard to designate this point as the speed. Oh god. So, slew the, to the highlighted box. Okay, so that means use these keys. Yep, right there in the highlighted box. Uh, on the HUD, and press the TMS long command or hold down left control. Off. Okay, so looks like I. Oh, I gotta do that again. I forget to zoom in. I'll make it legit. Okay. I think. I'm pressing left control up. What the fuck? I'm pressing the up, up arrow. I, I don't know. The SPI is now set by go. the HUD TDC as indicated in the bottom left corner of the HUD. Note, there is a range limit when setting the SPI using the TDC, so it may not work when setting at a range further ahead of the aircraft. Once a SPI is set by any sensor, 
The Hotas China Hat Forward Long Command can be used to automatically slew all of your combat systems to the speed location. Try pressing the China Hat Forward Long Command or holding down the V key on the keyboard to slave all sensors to the speed. Oh, that's cool. I knew that camera was going to move. I've seen that bad boy in action before. With your sensors now focused on the that. target area, yeah. you could work that's with the cool. TGPS SOI to get a better look at the target, obtain a positive ID, and refine the speed location by designating the desired target as the speed using the TGP crosshairs. Let's now press the TMS down long command, or hold down the left control plus down arrow keys to cancel the current speed. Left control down. Okay. Now what? Okay, I did it.